minutes to eight. Time for Talk for the Day. The speaker this morning is Canon Rachel Mann. Good morning. When I was a fresh-faced curate two decades ago, I was stunned when my training vicar told me that, in his view, all clerical careers end in failure. He was such a good priest, kind, patient and prayerful. He had energy and loved people. How on earth could he even think his life work might end in failure? Nearly 20 years on, I see his point. Things don't go to plan. The stuff we think will lead to growth fails. The attempts at service fall flat. And we aren't always around long enough to see the seeds we planted grow. I suspect that all these challenges apply as much, if not more, to those who pursue a life of public service. Given its complexity and pressures, there will always be things left undone. Careers can end for all sorts of reasons. Tiredness, redundancy, a desire for a fresh challenge and a plain old human weakness. In the church, we're very aware at the moment about how hubris can damage lives and careers. There are many church leaders who've believed their own hype and got in the way of the gospel. Through their excessive pride and self-regard, they've brought many low and shame on themselves. The book of Proverbs says... Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. It's not just the clergy to whom this applies. Taking stock of our lives is something most of us do from time to time. The Christian tradition suggests we need humility. This is not the popular idea of it in which a person puts themselves down. Rather, this is humility as a way to see oneself and others honestly and realistically. The Trappist monk, Thomas Merton, suggests it's impossible to see ourselves and others clearly without the grace of God. He says, My true identity lies hidden in God's call to my freedom and my response to him. For Merton, only God sees us fully, and as we get to know him better, we get to know ourselves more fully, and we're set free to live lives shaped by goodness rather than pride. Experience tells me that no one is above falling into hubris. I can see how, in my own case, my desire for success or my tendency to puff up my ego can only feed it. I appreciate Merton's point that, as I spend time with God, I see myself more clearly. I also set aside time to reflect on my work and get feedback from colleagues and friends too. As for my old boss, he still questions his legacy. I don't, but his honesty only helps me appreciate his achievements all the more. That was Thought for the Day with Canon Rachel Mann. It's 11 minutes to 8.